Happy Monday, everybody. We are working on balancing the chakras again today, so taking it nice and easy, waking up our joints, listen to your bodies, move with your breath. Enjoy. Come to the top of your mat, and you can grab a block if you need anything. We're going to have a seat. And just come into Baddha Konasana, Butterfly Pose. Some people may need a little extra support. Maybe you need to push your feet out a little further. What we're going to do is just take a nice breath in and lift our crown nice and tall. Fill up our lungs. Exhale, drop the shoulders from your ears. Try to relax your hips. Focus on your breath, your inhalation, exhalation. Using your belly to move the air all the way up the channel and all the way back down. Wherever you're at, work with that. Have a nice diamond. Have your knees about 90 degrees, feet touching. Lift your crown nice and tall. Inhale, filling up the lungs. Exhale, we're gonna gently hinge from the hips, keep the back straight. No rounding of the spine. Use your elbows to press your knees down as you reach with your crown. Once you notice yourself begin to round the spine, realign yourself. Lift that crown nice and high. Take a nice deep breath in. Make sure you have a nice clean energy channel to breathe clean air into your lungs. Exhale, leaning forward, hinging from the hips, reaching with the crown. You can hold on to your ankles and press your elbows into your knees. Taking a few breaths. Let's round it back. Exhale. Hold on to those ankles. Inhale, arch up with your calf. Open up the chest, reach the crown up for the sun. Exhale, round from the tail all the way to the crown. Opening up your back. Inhale, opening up the chest. Round the shoulders, down and back. Fill up your chest. Exhale, round from the tail up to the crown. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, moving with your breath. lungs, exhaling, rounding from the tail up to the crown. So take your hands off your ankles, touch the floor, and just crawl underneath your feet. Reach the crown and allow your back to relax. Gently rock. You're opening up any little creepy corners. Take 
and inhale, fill up the lungs, breath, and exhale, reach the crown. Two more breaths here. Rounding from the tail up to the crown. Extend your heels straight out in front of you. Lift your arms as you breathe in. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Rounding from the tail up to the crown. Reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Moving with your breath. Bring your arms out and up. Keep your abs engaged. Exhale, forward fold. Reaching with the breath. from the tail up to the crown, reaching up to the crown, and your hands as engage, exhale, round it up, breathe in, and come back down into a square, keeping those elbows pressed together. Lifting up, keeping them together, breathing in. Exhale, press down and together. Keep sitting up nice and tall, abs engaged, breathing in. Exhale, pulling down. Being sure to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Let's do two more breaths here. Breathing in. Exhale, release the elbows. Step your right hand down into the mat, pressing the shoulder away from the ear, so dropping the elbow if need be. Pushing the shoulder away from the ear, keep your right hand pressed into the mat. Lift up the right arm. Fill up the lungs, reaching over, dropping the right elbow. Exhaling, pulling down and back. Pull back. Reach up and over, breathing in. Exhale, pulling down and back. To the left. Breathe in, reach up. Dropping the right elbow, opening up the left side. Exhaling, yeah, pull back. Breathing in, reaching up. Yes, this is your last one. Breathing in, reaching up. Exhaling, twisting to the left. Inhaling, coming back to prayer. Exhale, take a few breaths here. Readjust your spine. Make sure you have good sitting position. Both hips are touching the ground. Your heels are down. Your knees are in contact. If you need a little support, you can get a little block or a towel. Place it under your knees. Dropping the left hand this time, reaching up, breathing in. Exhaling, pulling down and twisting open the heart. Inhaling, breathing in. Dropping the left elbow. Exhaling, pulling back with the right. 
Move with your breath. right leg, foot into our left hip, drop the right knee. You're in prayer, so square your shoulders to your left leg. Hips and shoulders align, square those shoulders. Heel should be in front of your left shoulder, your left hip. Breathing in, let's reach up. Exhaling, reaching forward. Inch from the hips. We're going to hold it here. Breathe in. Exhale. Drop the shoulders. If your uh, shoulders are uncomfortable, you can drop them in prayer. Try to make sure you're keeping your shoulders back from your ears. From the hips. Keeping a nice straight spine, keep those toes pulled back. Take three more breaths here. On your left, exhale, reach. Exhale all the way down. Relax your toes, sink with each breath a little further. Take your left elbow, place it just next to your left knee. A nice straight alignment. We're going to take our right arm and breathe in as we reach up for the sky. Deep breathing, utilizing this reach to open up a blocked channel. This includes emotional blockages, trauma blockages, stress blockages, even digestive blockages. Open up, breathing in. Exhale, let's come on down with that right elbow. To reach on the ground forward. Again, trying to reach straight alignment. Breathing and relaxing into the pose. Remember, there is no competition, not even with yourself. Let go of judgment. A clean you equals a clean earth. Breathe in, extend the crown. Exhale, press your hands into the ground and sit up nice and tall. Good job. All right, bring both feet together. Holding on to your ankles, dropping your knees, lifting your crown. Wherever you're at, work with that. This happens to be one of my weaknesses. Judgment and no competition. 
it's just breathing and allowing yourself to be comfortable at the edge of your discomfort. If you can hinge forward, go ahead. Keep breathing. Extending your right leg out in front of you this time. Squaring our body, shoulder, hip, leg, knee, ankle. Exhaling, reaching and hinging from the hips, dropping shoulders. Being sure to keep your hip bones engaged with the ground underneath you. Actively pull your toes back, engaging the quads, engaging your shins. Reaching with your heart, leading. Take a nice deep breath in and reach up, exhaling, dropping forward fold. With each breath, sinking into your edge a little further. up, breathing in, reaching up, exhale, reaching all the way down again, bringing your right elbow next to your right knee, aligning the arm next to your leg, taking your left arm this time, and opening up, breathing in. Drop forward, fold again. Pressing through both elbows. Align your shoulders and your spine again. Reaching down, pulling the toes back. Pressing down. from the, the tail all the way up to the crown, sitting up nice and tall, crisscross those legs, and we're going to reach and fingers fall forward, moving 
roll them over and kind of do a little back now. If you need to readjust yourself, take this moment to get yourself realigned on your mat. And underneath your shoulders, feet behind your knees, knees under hips, hips in line with your shoulders, elbows, wrists. Pretend you're screwing your right hand out to the right and your left hand out to the left. Bring those shoulders down and back, finding a neutral curve in your spine. Keeping the abs engaged. And just breathing. Focus on the breath. Keep the abs engaged. Keep twisting your right hand out to the right, and your left hand out to the left. Pressing into the ground, feeling your lats, pulling your shoulders down and back naturally through the twist in your effort. Let's lead with the tail as we exhale and round the spine, pressing with the navel up until the crown reaches down. Inhaling, leading with the tail, opening up the chest, bringing your crown up. Sit back about an inch, pressing through those arms, reaching, exhaling, pressing through the navel, inhaling, rounding the spine from the tail up to the crown, dropping the shoulders, filling those lungs. Exhale, round it up. Press it back. Move with your breath. Sitting back all the way into child's pose, relaxing a moment here. And bring your hands outside your knees, and drop your shoulders. Your back. Bringing your arms to reach straight out your shoulders. Lift your crown, gaze between your fingertips, slide your chest along the ground, and press through your hands when your elbows reach across your waist. Pressing and away from the shoulders. Sitting back, exhaling, child pose. Modified salutation here. Picking it up, up toward dog. Sitting back, child pose. Breathing in as we ground. Sitting back, exhale. Move with your breath.
sitting back on child's pose, holding it here. Relax your breath. Gazing between your fingertips, we're going to walk our fingertips all the way to the left. Take a few breaths here. breath here, thinking, opening up, walking the fingertips back to the center, widen your knees and get your chest in between, sinking your hips a little further, see if you can keep your toes touching. Few breaths here, sinking deeper in your hips, allowing them to relax. Become aware of the present moment at then. Getting a grasp on the ground with your fingertips, reaching out, pressing your forehead off the mat, reaching your crown forward. Slide your chest, drop the elbow, and press through your wrist. Align your feet straight behind you, allowing your hips to rock and loosen up. Pressing away from the ears, allowing your lower back to still feel supported. There's no sinking on the spine. Exhale, lower the chest back down to the ground. Pressing through your knees, lift your hips. Press through your hands, lift your chest off the ground. Tuck your toes under your ankles. Get those knees just off the ground. Hold, chaturanga. Breathing in, reaching up. Point those toes up the dog. Tuck those toes downward, dog leading with the tail, reaching to the sky. Dropping those knees one at a time, opening up. Moving with your breath. Inhale. Pressing your chest for your thighs. Reaching your tail for the skies. Shift forward into full plank. Press again. Remember how we are doing clockwise with the right hand, counterclockwise with the left hand. Engage those shoulder blades, reaching with the crown. Exhale, let's tuck that knee up into your chest. See if you touch your forehead. You're just reaching. Don't worry if you cannot, it's okay. Just reaching, engaging those ab muscles. Maintaining neutral spine when we return to a full 
full plank again. Exhaling, tugging. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling, tuck. Inhaling, lengthening. Keep doing this if you need to drop down to the modified version. You can come to your elbows if your wrists are bothering you. Bring your right knee out to your right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Inhaling, lengthening that spine, exhaling, reaching for the elbow. Two more on both sides. When you're complete, lower your body down to the ground. Take your hands. Take your hands, reach straight out in front of you. Rest through the ground, lift your chest, keep your shoulders down and down. Now drag your hands along the ground, or your elbows reach just under your shoulders. And let's see if you can lift your elbows. Keep that pose, that pose. Wherever you're at, work with that. Three more breaths here. If you're holding, or if you need support. One more breath. Exhale, relax. Drop the elbows and lift your arms. Bring your heels together and lift your feet. Open up your arms to the side. Thumbs up and back. Drop the shoulders. Reach the thumbs. Exhale. Rotating thumbs up and back. Relax. Take a few breaths. Let's roll over onto your left side. Left arm is underneath you, supporting your head. If you have a blanket or a pillow and need more support than that, you can use it. Do work with where you're at. So align your whole body nice and straight. Hips stack, ankles stack. You can relax your head. 
Just stay stacked. Find balance here. Lifting up the legs, breathing in, keep those toes pointed forward. Exhale, let's point away from us. Breathing in, pull the toes up. Exhale, point. Breathing in, pull the toes. Exhale, point. Keep this going with your breath. Relax. Exhaling, coming back to the belly and rolling over to the right side of the sky. Stopping the hips. Holding your pose here, getting ready to curl your toes as you breathe in. And place your left hand in front of you, in front of your chest, under your elbow. Body is stacked. Curling those toes, breathing in. Pointing the toes, reaching out. Curling and breathing in and up. Point and press away. Good. This time I want you to keep your left hand, your left leg up. Just let it drop over to the left. Drop right in front of you on the floor. Crossing your body. So what we're gonna do is open up our chest slowly. Bringing our shoulders down to the ground. And bend your knees and back up a little tighter. You can hold on to the outside of your knee with your right hand. And take your left hand, go straight out by the shoulder. you're at, work with that. Your right leg straight out in front of you. Exhale, bring your ankle to your, knee, your hip and pull with your right hand around the ankle. Rolling your hips back onto the mat. 
holding on to your right ankle, allowing your left knee to open up over your left thigh, over your right thigh. Sorry, I mixed up my right and left. Yoga from your hip, opening up on the left. Go ahead and get your hand on top of your toes and the joints of your toes, holding the top of your ankle. shoulders down and back, on the ground, feel connected, your crown is reaching, your spine is still lengthening as you breathe in and exhale, focusing the energy here on your hips. Breath in and point and reach our toes straight out in front of us. Exhaling, tucking our head, crown, knee into the chest and hug. Breathing in, reach your arms up above your head. Your toes are reaching forward wherever you're at so that your body does not lose contact with the mat. Exhale, clench it in, hug it. Inhale, point it out, and lower. Exhale, tuck it. Move with your breath. Be sure to engage your abs so you're not losing control of your lower back. Tuck it in, press your heels straight up, grab your toes with your left fingers, finger, index finger, ring, and middle finger with your thumb. So just holding on to those toes, we're going to slowly lower our shoulders, lower our head. Bend your knee if you need to, slowly rounding your knee open to the left. Keeping your right hip engaged with the ground. So if you feel it rolling up, you may be at your limit. Just listen to that. Trying to really sink into the pose with each breath, allowing your body to relax. Bend your knee, pulling on your toes, opening up your hip. Expand the knee, lifting the heel, pressing down in the right. Bend your knee, bring it all the way to your right knee. Left ankle on the right knee. Grab behind your right knee. Watch your hand, pressing your left elbow into the left knee. Opening up that hip. Tuck it in and round it down. Breathing out. Breathing in as we round it down. Exhale, tuck it in. Breathing in, rounding out. Then stay in the flush position. 
position for four breaths. up and out with arms and legs. Hugging your right knee, exhale. Breathing in and reaching out. Keeping your lower back supported with your abs. Moving with your breath. Exhale, tucking it in, lifting up, grabbing the toes with the left fingers, bending your knee if you need to, slowly extending your left heel straight out in front of you, dropping your right knee over to the left side, looking over your fingertips on the right. If you can straighten your knee and you're comfortable, go for it, get your chest Align. Breathing in, opening up that chest, opening up the hips, softening the shoulders. Bend your knees in, your right knee bending up, bringing your right ankle into your left hip, rolling your right hip back down to meet the ground, dropping your right knee over the left thigh, realign your spine, reach your crown straight above your tail, opening up the hip, grab onto the top of your foot, pulling your toes back. Feeling that hip open up. Press your right knee down into the ground. Opening up the hip a little bit more. Breathing in. Exhale. back into your chest, extend it straight up in front of you, grab it with your right fingertips, right index finger and ring, middle finger with your thumb. Taking a few breaths here, pulling back straight. Keeping your left hip down, opening up to the right. Rotate your right hand over. Continue to drop the right leg down to the ground wherever you're at. Or put that. If you don't touch the ground, that's okay. We're opening up the thigh. Left hip. 
them that need pull on it a little bit, give it a little more opening in your hips. Three breaths here. Lessen your knee back. Lengthening through the heel, extending and reaching. Exhale, let's bend that knee back. Bring the left, right ankle over onto the left knee. And give your left knee a hug. Pressing out with your right elbow into the right knee or thigh. Pulling in with your left knee. Feeling that right hip open up. Exhaling, reaching our crown up. Inhaling. Rounding down. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, and coming back up, exhale, this is your last one, and hold the crunch, keep breathing, inhale, exhale, Rounding down, reaching up both legs, grab both toes, drop both knees outside your chest. Come into a dead bug. Rock a little bit side to side. Rock forward to back. See if you feel comfortable. Control it with your abs, pulling your hips up, and trying to reach your toes behind you. Rolling back, reaching your toes. You can put your hands straight down out in front of you, behind you all the way back, planking your feet out if you're comfortable, if you're comfortable trying it and you want to go into a little balance pose, you can support your low back here and get ready to lift your legs up, supporting your back, you know, lift up the right leg up first. When you feel balanced, you can lift your left leg up. Lift those hips to stack above the shoulders and tuck your chin into the chest. This is good for your thyroid, not for my mind. Come 
down, laugh, allow your feet to separate. Press your hands into the ground, pushing your shoulders away from the ears as you slowly lower those heels into the ground in front of your hips and allow your ankles to drop out along with your hands. Allow them to drop out naturally. Allow your head to sink into the ground. Allow your eyes to relax and close. Allowing the tension in your neck to sink down into gravity. practicing yoga today to have love for yourself and everything and everyone around yourself. Continue to practice loving yourself as you roll over to the right side 
when you're ready. Begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Rotate your ankles and your wrists as you slowly tuck your knee into your chest, rolling over onto the right. There's a reason we roll onto the right, is so we don't lay on the heart. We keep the heart up. And when we're ready, we press through the left palm in front of our chest, through the elbow, until we can sit ourselves up into a comfortable position. Either seated lotus, or maybe you can just on to your knees, wherever you're comfortable. I just want to take this moment to say thank you for taking class today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.